Hey guys and girls, welcome back to some Dark Rose Valkyrie. Um, so I finished all the side missions. Um, our crew has been leveled up um, quite a bit uh, since last part. We're gonna turn in the last side mission and tri uh, trigger the main quest. Let's see what happens. Whoa, amazing! As of this mission, my report finds that there are no problems with Luna Ichinomiya returning to the Force. Good work. Continue to make sure she doesn't use her limiter. For now, at least. For now? What do you mean? I ordered the lab to make a new TCS prototype. It should reduce burden on the user and allow for greater performance. Ichinomiya's case was a good sample. It'll take time, but it should be less common for split personalities to occur. Commander... Thank you! It's too early to celebrate. We don't know if implementation's possible yet. Fight carefully until we get a result. Got it? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> nice. So we could potentially not have a case of that happening. Um, back to my room. Ah. Oh, Mr. Shiramine. Hello. Is something the matter? My matcha pudding. It's gone. Your matcha pudding? Yeah, I put some in my fridge and was planning on eating it today. Do you know anything about this, Hazuki? I I wouldn't know anything about that. It's your room, Captain. R right, of course. I wonder if someone ate it. I just emptied most of the trash cans and I didn't see any traces of it. Maybe you ate it and forgot. No, that's not possible. Ugh, who has the nerve to eat someone else's matcha pudding? Unforgivable! Miss Hazuki, do you... You really have no idea who may have eaten it? I, I'm sorry, I don't. Maybe you should conduct, conduct interviews to find the culprit. Interviews? Go talk to everyone directly. If they're being honest, their stories will check out. If not, there's sure to be a contradiction. So she wants me to go all Phoenix right on people. She's speaking my language. <laughs> you are the captain, so it would be normal for you to want to have discussions with your team from time to time. Although it may be going a little overboard for these discussions to revolve, revolve around your matcha pudding. I see. Interviews. Mr. Sh Mr. Shiromine? All right, let's do it. We're, we're really going to? Yes, even for simple pudding, it's still theft. And of our superiors. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> All right, time to begin. There's a limit to the total number of questions you may ask all members. When the interview ends, you will compile a report on who your suspect is. The testimony you designate as false will require a basis for that claim. Okay. Alright, um, who do I think is the likely person to take my pudding? Amal. <laughs> Let's see what she has to say. Sorry for calling you in so suddenly. Oh, don't worry about it. What's up, big bro? Well, it's about my pudding. Someone ate it without permission. That kind of bums me out. N no, not at all. I just wanted to see if you might have any idea who, of who ate it. I see. Hmm. Okay, then. You have some questions ready, right? Fire away, big bro. Right, okay, then. Now let's begin the interview. I'd like to discuss the matter of my missing matcha pudding. Big bro, no matter what crime my friends or me commit, I won't ever lie to you. So there's nothing I can say about the matter. If I had to guess, 
I'd say Luna might be suspicious. I think I saw her leave your room in the afternoon. Okay. So she's pointing the finger at Luna. So let's... I saw Luna in the afternoon when I was heading to the station. I think... Huh? It was right when I was leaving the captain's room. I think I remember seeing her in the cafeteria, too. She was pressing a cow and Kengo with a scary smile. Oh, were they about to fight? Sheesh. Wait. But she just said that she saw Luna leave my room. And yet she's saying that she saw Luna in all these other places. And she just said it was right when I was leaving the captain's room. What's she up to again? My memory's really not clear, but I feel like I heard her voice when I walked through the hallway. Um, let's see. I have memory of having a spoon in my mouth, so it was... So it was near the cafeteria. Alright, that should be the end of this interview. Okie dokie. Good work. I feel like it's her, but we'll call Luna in. Pardon for calling you in so suddenly. It is no trouble, Captain. More importantly, what is the matter? Well, it's a little hard to admit, but my matcha pudding was stolen and eaten without my permission. Oh my. Pudding, you say? Yes. I can always buy pudding again. That isn't the issue. The problem is, someone ate it without proper clearance. It is wrong to take someone else's things. I understand the situation. Alright, so then, now let's begin the interview. I'd like to discuss the matter of my missing matcha pudding. Your matcha pudding, yes? Hmm. I have no knowledge of it, but more importantly, listen. My favorite hat has gone missing. This is not the time for me to have an interview. I must search for it. Amal, now that I recall, I saw him hurrying outside in a bit of a panic. He was saying something about the pudding at some store near the station. It may be he ate your pudding and was trying to replace it. I did not meet with Ku all day. It is merely a guess, but perhaps she was reading a book in her room. Yeah, there's no way Ku would do it. I feel like it was a mall. I keep feeling like it was a mall. I have two things left. Let's talk to Q. I apologize for calling you so suddenly. No, it's fine. I called you here because I had something I wanted to ask you. Yes? Um, my pudding, it was eaten by someone. This isn't a, isn't a nice thing to do, so I wanted to warn this person. Pudding? Yeah. If you know anything, I'd like you to tell me. Oh, also, I'm not suspecting you or anything. I understand. I'll help. Thank you. Okay, then. Now, let's begin the interview. I didn't eat your pudding. Please ask Yui about it. It was an accident. Amal is the one who ate the pudding, Captain. He apparently wandered in half asleep, opened the fridge, and ate it all. We should have apologized when it happened, but it must have slipped my mind. If it's any consolation, I had him buy some new pudding. Yeah, figured as much. I think this case is closed. Alright, I've mostly finished hearing everyone's stories, so now. Once you finish, you can organize who was the most suspicious and your reasoning behind that. Who's suspicious and reasoning? Yes, I happen to have some leftover papers for questioning. Thanks, it's a big help. You just need to pick up the contradictions. The culprit will be lying, so they will say something different from the testimonies of the others. If you have a testimony that contradicts the testimony of someone else's, that can serve as enough of a basis. However, unless you have two or more testimonies from other people, that basis will be weak. Watch out for the false testimony and two testimonies that contradict it. I see. If there are only two different testimonies, you wouldn't know which is false. 
Exactly. However, two testimonies from the same person will be treated as only one. This is because even if you choose two testimonies from a person, there's a possibility that they're lying. Right, but for times when they aren't enough testimonies from what we heard, then it can't be helped. We should let it, let it go. Yeah, no, it's a girl. We should let it go. Huh? That easily? Okay. So I need corroborating a corroborating statement, which I can actually get from Ku. Amal is the one who took it. Um. Apologize when it happened. I'm, I'm all. Did I do the panic one? He was saying something about the pudding. We should have apologized when it happened. No, I'm all. Now I recall I was out, running outside in a panic. Yeah. Alright. Report. And submit the report to. Well, I guess there's no one to submit to right now. Do you have an idea of who might be the culprit? I'm not totally sure, but I think I might have a good idea of who it might be. Okay, then. Let's call that person and talk to them one more time. Uh, um... What is it, Amal? Mr. Shirmina, your voice is strained. You sound rather suspicious. Oh? <coughs> What's wrong, Amal? Well, you see, um, about the interviews you've been doing... Hmm? I'm sorry, I'm the one who ate the pudding. I'm sorry. Amal? I went to hang out at your room, but you weren't there. I just saw it sitting there, and, well, I never got to eat a lot of sweets growing up, and I've never seen matcha pudding before. I was just curious. I knew I shouldn't have, but after I saw it, I just couldn't resist, and... and... Hey, Amal. I just got scared that you'd be mad about it, so I didn't say anything. Next thing I knew, you were conducting interviews. I knew I couldn't hide it anymore, and I got even more scared. I I'm sorry. Uh, Amal, it's fine. It's all right. I, I can just buy another one, okay? P but... I'm sure it was a burden. It's just pudding. Though, so this time I'll let it go. But next time, just ask me, okay? Big bro. If you want, I'll buy one for you next time, too. Don't cry anymore, all right? Really? It's really okay? Yeah, of course. Thank you, big bro. I'm really sorry, and thank you. Don't mention it. You're dismissed. Yes, sir. Please excuse me. Mr. Shiromine, matcha pudding can be purchased from just about anywhere. I'm always free to buy as many as he'd like. Huh? Also, just sitting there, wasn't it? In the refrigerator? What? Could it be? <laughs> Too easy, big bro. Just as I thought. What? We were going to have Luna's celebration in the cafeteria. Did I fail? I think I failed. Oh my gosh. What if it was Koo then?
What the? What was that noise? Oh, uh, Mr. Sheromine. Just a moment. What's wrong? What's going... I, I think you should look over there. <sighs> what on earth happened? They were talking about Miss Luna. I said it was her fault, and you wait till... Oh god, oh god, oh god. I didn't mean to hit that. Captain, please go talk to her. What? Aren't you angry too? We should... I was upset, but I understand where she's coming from. We ended up exchanging some pretty heated words. It'd be best if you spoke to her at this point, Captain. I'm sure I wouldn't be able to help the situation at all. I understand. Leave it to me. I did not mean to skip that. I hit the wrong button. Ugh. I don't know what they were fighting about now. What do you want? I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what happened in the cafeteria. Whoa! What's with the gun? Oh, sorry. I was planning on getting some training in. Just getting ready. Can I come with you? We can talk while we're at it, if you don't mind. I don't mind. If you can keep up, that is. <sighs> I missed it. Try holding it up <laughs> higher. Also, if you want to increase your accuracy, you should probably use both hands. Uh, like this? Captain, what were your marksmanship grades? For some strange reason, I managed to hit things on the battlefield. <sighs> Don't worry about me. Please focus on your own training. That's why we came here, right? Advice taken. Well, hello there, Yui. You're so strong, Yui. How can you Are you a... so strong like that? I'm not strong. I just don't preoccupy myself with trivial matters. Sometimes it hurts people. It's unintentional. You mean like with I just now? <sighs> you talk a lot about being in the military, but can I ask you something? What were you doing before all of that? Honestly, I don't really know anymore. I was aimless, really. I found living difficult without any direction. following someone else's orders. Perhaps that's why I stayed with him. You mean the mentor you've mentioned before? The one that was kind of... peculiar? He would cut anything that didn't align with him out of his life. He always said one needed to know their place in life. If one was a superior, he should show perfect management. And if one was a soldier, perfect obedience. He sounds so different from me. At the time, that was comforting to me. It was simple and easy to follow. What about now?
Do you want me to change, Captain? Oh, you... I like her no, how she is. You're fine. It's selfish of me to want you to change who you are. Pushing my opinion on you wouldn't be different from your old mentor. Captain... But if you ever want to change, I'm here to support you. I'll be here waiting until that time comes. Good grief. This person... Oh, but you <laughs> should apologize to I. That's an order. She got your intent, but I can't approve of that behavior. Yes, sir. All right. I guess I'll keep training a bit. I've got to hit the bullseye at least once. I don't want to lose my dignity. I believe you've already lost a fair amount, considering all of your shots so far. <laughs> Burn! Gosh, you eh? <laughs> I'm joking. That's the first time I've seen you smile. It's nice to see for once. Captain, do you ever wonder what it might be like to get shot in the face? Oh god. Sorry. I'll take the practice seriously. <laughs> what is with this man? I have such difficulty dealing with him. He makes my heart pound. Oh, snap. Did you say something? <laughs> I said you're extremely clumsy as usual. Focus on the task at hand. <laughs> That's totally what she said. Cooperation Tactics Plugin 3. Strike flincher. I gotta go to Koo's room. Let's go see. I bet it was Koo too that stole the pudding. Koo, if it's alright, could you lend me a book? A book? Yeah, I thought I'd read for a change of pace. Do you have any recommendations? Then how about a movie? You can watch it more casually than reading a book. Uh, at home? I'm the type to watch them quietly at home, but what about you, Ku? Yes, I also watch them at home. We're the same. Yes, we are. What kind of movies do you like? Um, I watch anything. But I see ones that I can watch with Amal a lot. When watching movies, Amal watches with me. I think Amal doesn't care for them. But he always keeps me company. I think Amal has has fun just being together with you. Ugh, just has fun being together with you. I look for a movie for you, Captain. Thanks. I'm counting on you. Yes. You've improved, bud. Ooh, nice. Ha did I have you as uh f first start before? I don't think I did. So I have everyone but Amal. You should try a little. Uh, there. <laughs> Uh, Alright. So we have more missions. Lots of missions. Jeez. Okay. So I'm going to end that there, guys. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, share with a friend. Um, I'm going to run through all of these missions. And like per usual. Uh, we actually have one finished. Uh, as per usual. Um, we'll be back once story stuff starts. See you guys then. Bye-bye.